a strong economic and population growth for 20 years. We can all agree that this city is now a hot place to live and work. Going forward, what criteria should justify the use of DC taxpayer funds for further economic development? Let's start with Mr. Rubio and from this direction, and then we'll go to the end and come back. What would justify the use of our tax dollars is the benefit of the community. You, your voice, um, not the corporation. Too many times, DC politics, um, can't, council members, they focus on getting money from businesses they used to work for or, or businesses that were donated to their campaign and not focus on what the people are thinking. There's a situation right now in Ward 6 where CSX wants to build a larger turnover for their corporate use, but not, but it affects the community. And, and it, we need to stand together and fight together so we can make sure that big corporations don't come to DC and try to, and try to take over and not listen to what the people have to say. Thank you. Say it.
question is, is under what circumstances should the state <coughs> use its tax dollars to bring business in? I would say there are no circumstances. I mean, the fact of the matter is, this is one of the highest cities. The jobs are coming regardless. And all across this country right now, there's corporate black belt going on. These big corporations, they go to every city and they say, well, if you don't do what we want, we'll go here. If you don't do what we say DC, we'll go to Virginia. If you don't do what we want, Seattle, we'll go to South Carolina. And the fact of the matter is, someone has to stand up. It's a moral imperative that we fight this race to the bottom where all these corporations are running around, taking our money, and not giving back the miserable benefits and getting low paying jobs. What we need to focus on is not giving money away from corporations, but getting money back from corporations. We give them their money, we work for them, we're the ones who buy their goods. I mean, they need to pay higher wages, a $15 an hour minimum wage, that I think is the bottom of yes. the They need to treat workers directly, we need to change wage steps, we need to allow the ability to unionize. Let's stop giving away our resources to corporations. Let's stop agreeing with this corporate blackmail that's going on all across the country and all across the world, really. And let's stand up and say DC is a moral city where workers' rights come and work for our first. I think the, he, he hit it right on the head when he stuck the ball in the house. But uh, the, the point was that economic development is happening in DC because we are DC. Uh, mind you, we do have economic side of the and all that good stuff. But we're DC, the jobs are going to be here. The focus, focus should be less on the economic development as far as the taxpayers' money. And it should be making sure the taxpayers' money are going in to continue training, advance training for individuals, and making sure that people are able to get jobs, not only get jobs, but again, get the jobs when they're able to earn a livable wage and have benefits. <coughs> uh, uh, the certain food services industry, you've got a minimum wage, but even more than that minimum wage increase, you need to have meetings. You know, you, if, you, if you don't show up to work and you're a waitress, you don't get paid. You know, what if you're sick? You can't be around food if you're sick. That's the problem. So we need to fix that. Next. Okay. Let me ask the question. So the question is, when and how should we use taxpayer dollars on future projects uh, as, it, as it relates to economic growth? So the first area we need to focus on is education, because ed education is economic development. Um, we need to focus on creating community centers of schools in them, especially in our neighborhoods with the greatest challenges, because we have to properly educate our children so that they can participate in the economic growth. That's one of the biggest things for attacking income inequality. The second thing we've got to do is we've got to attack the deserts that we have. You go east of the river, we have food deserts, we have transportation deserts, we have healthcare deserts. So I think the future projects and investments need to focus on solving those problems. We need to bring incentives to bring more high quality food service places to the east of the river. We need to focus on bringing a hospital to the east of the river. There's not a hospital over there. We need to focus on bringing more doctors and urgent care centers to the east of the river. And we need to focus on bringing more uh, bases of employment so we can create more jobs. So I think the litmus test is investing in things that are going to improve people's skills, that are going to improve jobs, and are going to improve the quality of life. And I think anything that does those things is a smart use of taxpayer money. Okay. We got through five out of eight questions. I think you'll agree it was an interesting session. Good round of applause to our uh, record-breaking panel.